Good morning, Kettle Kids, and welcome to your Monday, February 1st, the first of a new month, and today happens to be National Get Up Day. Uh, You know, this might very well apply to getting out of bed in the morning for some of us, uh, but really it's about actually overcoming major obstacles. There's a word for this. This is perseverance. Perseverance uh, really means uh, overcoming something despite difficulty or delay in achieving success. So if something's really hard, uh, it might be worth doing and getting to that point of achieving it, uh, to getting it done, to getting it finished, really is perseverance and what this day is all about. You know, it's it's kind of funny. It's almost like there's a place where we go to try new things and the challenge. Oh yeah, school. You're here. Perseverance is a huge part of making you successful every single day. And remember another really important thing, perseverance is not a solo uh, achievement. You can definitely rely on others and look for your peers, other classmates to help you out. Your teachers literally, it's our job to do this. I mean, so Look to, for a little bit of help as you go along. And just a really cool quote to go along with that. When you're at the end of your rope, tie a knot and hold on. Uh, it's a quote from President Theodore Roosevelt, and it is a really applicable one. If you find yourself at the very edge of what you can handle, just hold on. Try to pro- push through at the very end, and you will be very well rewarded for your efforts. As a side note, a really cool thing to mention uh, is room 114, Miss Markham's room, will be having coming up a uh, a kindness display, a challenge to see uh, who can display some uh, amazing uh, kind efforts in the school. They'll let you know which one's going on through the display. Uh, And you can make an effort to to be kind to other students uh, around the school. I mean, maybe you actually lend them that helping hand, you know? Anyways, let's uh, use our hands right now, put our hands over our hearts, find the flag in the room, and... Please rise for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Okay, yeah, crazy Kendall kids, let's talk about food. Well, today we have a tuna sandwich or popcorn chicken with roll, broccoli, and uh, peach cup milk. So one quick side note about that uh, tuna, a thing of interest I found out more recently is, well, guess what? There is a little bit of a hubbub in popular culture right now, which is that uh, there's a lawsuit, a class action lawsuit going into action against Subway about whether their sandwiches actually contain any tuna in their tuna fish sandwiches and doing some air quotes here you might not be able to see so what's really in that who really knows right now which is a uh, pretty interesting so hold on we're going to check this uh you know court battle out and the funny thing about it is you might think that sounds crazy that lawsuit is over the top but recently in ireland they actually uh passed a lawsuit they actually well, I shouldn't say passed a lawsuit they upheld a lawsuit uh that actually says that um subway bread is not actually bread Um, And that is because the sugar content is so incredibly high. So what does that really have to do with anything? Well, you know, uh, I'd suggest, number one, you don't go to Subway for their tuna fish sandwich. And number two, I can actually guarantee that our sandwiches here at this school are legitimately tuna fish, not mystery meat. You can actually rely on those benefits of the tuna fish in your sandwich. So, you know, we're better than Subway, I'm going to have to say in that regard. Anyways, let's talk about the weather. Well, today the weather is going to be much nicer than it has been, actually. It's going to be a high of 32 degrees, low of 24. So pretty comfortable uh, winter day out there. Really can't complain too much about that. But the precipitation chance is up there. So you might already notice some uh, snow coming down here and there. It is lake effect, so it is highly variable. So it is a 68% chance, so a high likelihood we're going to see some snow. But how much is very questionable. And if we get snow right here at the school, there's no guarantee that even a mile or two away they're getting the same uh, precipitation. So just be aware that it is just going to be a little bit of a guessing game in that regard. 
Tomorrow, high of 31. Very low chance of precipitation. You might see a little bit of that sunshine. Thursday and Friday are going to be the big warm-up with a little bit more precipitation on Friday and a little bit more sun on that Thursday. So we'll see how that turns out and how that goes in the end. But luckily, we're not dealing with the same uh, cold that we have been recently. But I will tell you that depending on wind chill, uh, it's still kind of up in the air whether there's going to be recess time. So I'm not going to call indoor recess or outdoor recess for today, but I am going to say pay attention to what your teacher says because they will check the weather as it comes up uh, or any of the teacher's aides within the room, and they will have the call on whether we have outside time or not. If we happen to be warm enough today for outside time, well, then make sure you're wearing appropriate cold weather clothing, uh, boots, jackets, all that. Uh, and uh, yeah, we'll make sure you uh, are enjoying yourself if we can. If not, it's an indoor recess time, and that is not a problem, right? So let's end our day with that proper Kendall mission statement. The mission of the Kendall Central School District is to provide the knowledge, skills, values, and attitudes needed by students to live responsibly and to compete successfully in today's and tomorrow's world. Well, no matter what happens today and whether you get a real tuna fish sandwich or not, uh, remember to stay colorful Kendall.